I'm Ali, I'm a senior PhD student in Technical University of Munich and I have 10 years of experience in software engineering. Since I'm a student, uh, I could use DreamSpark to download all the applications that I need, like Visual Studio or uh, different kind of platform frameworks that I need during my work. But uh, for training, the most interesting thing that I found is YouTube. Actually, you go just out and search whatever you want to learn. There is a video out there in YouTube. And also MSTN provide nice uh, articles about everything. There are webcasts about uh, most of the topic that you need during your work. So uh, actually, everything is out there. You should just search, you will find everything. Actually, this goes back to the time that I heard first that Microsoft wants to uh, bring a platform for smartphone devices. And at that time, I saw this as an opportunity to start my development and having some application out there for the marketplace. Then I started thinking, what would be the uh, coolest application that can come early in the market? You know, in smartphones, you have access to internet and everyone uses internet. And those who use internet search. So I decided to develop Google search application, which is available along the market. First, you should find the need. There are people out there and there have different requirements and there might be problems that you can solve with your small application in the marketplace. Well, the most experience I had during having an application in the marketplace was receiving so many feedbacks from users. It was interesting to me. I didn't expect at the beginning So when I started my application, since I had lots of background in uh, development and software engineering, this kind of stuff, I didn't know anything about design. And the whole idea behind the Metro design style that Microsoft used during the Windows Phone was having nice uh, graphical items, graphical icons or animated things. I didn't know how to do that. At the beginning for me it was hard, but when I used to use Expression Blend and these tools that Microsoft is providing for making this thing, it get better. Actually, the main thing I mentioned before is uh, it's good to start with a need, to understand what is required with the user. And then you can maybe start to think about your model. In MVVM, you have to define a model which is standing between your code and between your user interface. This is very important for your application to define your MVVM early. Then you can start to develop your first prototype application, prototype of your application in Expression Blend, and then you can take it out and show it to your friend. Maybe it's not working, but it gives the idea to them. Because you have uh, controls there, you have the list boxes, and all these things uh, is in the interface. So you will get some early feedbacks, which is very important for you. Because later, these guys are those who use your application. And if you know what they need and what are their requirements in advance, it's much better and you should get this feedback early.